Hi, I'm Mrs. Dean Math. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to be covering the volume of spheres in 8th grade math. We do have a volume of cylinders and a volume of cones video. If you haven't seen those, they're linked below. A sphere is a 3D shape with all points the same distance from the center. This distance is the radius. The volume is the cubic units needed to fill the sphere. So a sphere is essentially a ball. And here we have the radius marked from the center to the outside edge. And you could make this line from the center point to any point on the exterior of the circle and it would be the same distance. When we talked about the volume of a cylinder, the volume of a cylinder was base times height, which means that capital B is the area of the base. So we had the area of a circle times the height and we also said it could be pi r squared times h. Then we did the volume of a cone, and the volume of a cone was one third of that area of the base times the height. So my cone essentially did one third pi r squared h. If we were to do the volume of a sphere, the volume of a sphere is two thirds times pi r squared and then times our height, and our height is actually the diameter, because the height would go from one edge of the circle to the center, and then again to the other center. So that would be times two r. So we're gonna simplify this equation, and we're gonna multiply our two in the numerator and our two in front of this r, and that's gonna give us four thirds, and then we still have pi and then we have r squared times r, so that's gonna be an r cubed. So for the volume of a sphere, we have 4 thirds times pi r cubed. So if the radius of a sphere is five centimeters, we wanna find the approximate volume using 3.14 for pi. So let's go ahead and plug the numbers into our formula. Volume equals 4 thirds times pi, it tells me to use 3.14 times the radius cubed, and the radius in this case is five centimeters, so that's five cubed, or to the third power. I do have to follow order of operation, so five cubed is gonna be first, so four thirds times pi times five cubed, which is 125. So now when I multiply all of this in the numerator, four times pi times 125, I end up with 1,570. I still have to remember to divide by three. So my answer is approximately 523.3 centimeters cubed. If we were to measure the diameter of a ball as 14 inches, how many cubic inches of air does that ball hold? And we're gonna use 3.14 for pi. So let's go ahead and fill in our formula. Volume equals four thirds times pi, again I'm using 3.14, times r. Now, the diameter is all the way across my circle, the radius is half of that. So if my diameter is 14 inches, my radius is seven inches. So I'm gonna plug in seven cubed, and now I can solve. And I do have to solve seven cubed first, based on order of operations. So now I have four thirds times 3.14, times 343. If I solve all my multiplication first, I end up with 4,308.08 divided by three. So the volume is approximately 1,436.02 inches. So that's just gonna round to 4,436 inches cubed. So it would hold 1,000 436 inches cubed of air. So again, before you fill in your formula, remember for a sphere, your diameter is all the way across the circle, but we need the radius for our formula. So we need to find half of that diameter, if that's what it gives us, before we plug that into the formula. Thanks for joining me today for volume of spheres in eighth grade math. I hope this video helped you understand the formula and how to solve for the volume of spheres. I'm Mrs. D. Math. Have a great day. Bye.